Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building a uh, simple little go-kart. Uh, it's just a simple little uh, design for a go-kart, not really based off any go-kart really in particular. It's just, you know, when we sat down, decided I wanted to build a go-kart and kind of what I pictured, you know, a go-kart looked like kind of popped into mind and transitioned over here to blocks. Uh, I think it's a pretty nice little design for it. It's kind of hard to build really go-karts at this small of a scale, but I do think it came out pretty good and hopefully you guys um, will also enjoy it. Uh, overall, the uh, build's pretty cool. Got some pretty good little detail bits for it, um, for its size, and overall pretty happy with it. Um, so, you know, again, one of these little different tutorials, I've been posting a few of these, uh, you know, different tutorials these uh, past few days. Uh, Mainly because they're smaller builds, a little bit easier for me to get out um, since I'm pre-recording a lot of these videos and stuff like that for uh, me going out of town. So I uh, hope you guys um, do enjoy them and um, can uh, obviously put them to good use or find something to do with them. Um, anyways, going ahead and taking a look at the build, it's uh, you know pretty simplistic in, in nature really. Uh, you have the front up here, um, obviously the kind of front that runs up here, the steering wheel which is located right here in this section. Uh, again, using the um, Ender Dragon uh, skulls here, which look pretty good for the wheels, in my opinion. I think they work out really nice for it. I've seen um, some other people do these before, so it's not really my design. Um, but it is a really clever design, and um, decided to go ahead and put it in action. And I really do like the way it works out. I think it does a really good job <clears throat> at um, showing kind of a smaller scale wheel um, instead of having a full block in that space. Um, going ahead and moving on the sides here, nothing too fancy there. Um, we have the fuel tank, which is that quartz uh, stair right there in the middle. A another break slab right here for the seat, start of the seat, and the backrest here of the seat as well, which is just the, the banner. Uh, the engine's then located on the back here, um, just an anvil, nothing too uh, fancy with it. And that's pretty much the go-kart. Nice, pretty, simple, small little build um, that hopefully you guys can, you know, use or put into some kind of um, action or something like that. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial, the tutorial and uh, get this go-kart built up. Alright guys, so going ahead and getting started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take um, some um, dragon skulls. We're going to place down a dragon skull uh, just like this. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall uh, coming off the basically in the front here of the dragon skull like that. On the other side here, we're going to do the same thing. So just an air skeleton or uh, dragon skull like that. We then want to place down a stone brick stair, come off the front of this um, cobblestone wall, so whichever direction we want the front of the um, go-kart facing, which is going to be in that way, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we also want to place down a skeleton skull here on both sides of that front stair like so. After that's done, we're going to place down a quartz stair, come off the cobblestone wall like this, followed by a cobblestone wall on either side of this quartz stair. We're then going to place down a narrow cobblestone wall going back on both sides with a narrow brick slab there in the middle. On this second cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a sign here on both sides. And unfortunately, I kind of built this a little too, too close to the air one. So just a sign there on the side there of that cobblestone wall. Uh, we then want to place down a um, anvil behind this narrow brick stair like this. Followed by a uh, zombie head again on both sides like so. On the back here, we're just going to place down a sign on the side of the anvil like so. Going ahead and building this up, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of that cobblestone wall on the front followed by another brick slab on top of this quartz uh, stair right here. We also want to place down a stone brick slab on top of this anvil with a wither skeleton skull coming off the right side of it like that. And then we just want to go ahead and grab ourselves a black banner. We're going to place down a black banner here on the front of the slab like that just to create a little uh, back rest to the seat. And once you have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the, uh, uh, the go-kart. Very nice, simple design, and you can obviously change the colors of it. Uh, by using some different blocks or something like that to kind of um, change it up and you know make it you can make a few modifications to you know have more of a different color show but uh, overall definitely a really cool little build and um, you know it's good, kind of specific to what you're going to have it used for go-kart tracks and stuff like that uh, but you know hopefully it's a cool little build that maybe you guys can build and you know find some kind of enjoyment out of you know despite it being a little bit different from my standard tutorials Anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys do not use this as I do, I see you guys give me proper credit for it. This would be thing from the side of the build, tweet to my channel or this video. If this does appear on any social media sites, just be sure to get proper credit for the video. That's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired uh, to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys uh, give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Great24, and I'll see you guys next time.